This week on Fly Day, we're tying the Brandlin Worm, a great fly for pulling or under the bung. Right, so the hook in the vise is the new um, straight eye grub from Partridge. There's the code there. Cracking hook, very strong. Um, fluorescent orange thread. So basically, catch on your thread. Come back up to behind the eye. This point now, take your Claret Flexi Floss and together gauge your legs. I like to make them three times the length of the hook. So there's one, two, three, and you tie it off there. So just get it started, and then take your thumb on top of the two strands of flexi, and pull and stretch back as you're tying down. Keep it nice and straight on top of the shank of the hook, and you want to come down about to about there. And before you let go of the flexi floss, come back up a couple of turns before you leave go. And that makes sure that they won't uh, spring back on you. And you want to come back up the body, covering everything up. Just short of where you caught in the material to level the body out. And then you want to take another piece of the claret span flex, catch in, Roll it on the side to me and do the same with the rib, stretch and tie all the way down to where you finished off the legs, to that point there. And then what you want to do is get your body material, this is neon flash. Get yourself a couple of strands and then take it under the under the thread and roll it onto yourself. Make sure it's straight. Pull it down to where you're going to catch it in. And then tie that down all the way up behind the, the front legs and then this little tag end you've got left over from where you caught in the rib cut that off the fibre there and then Take the neon flash and wrap it up the body. Oop. Caught the leg. To this point there. And then with the thread, come underneath the thread, hold the thread up, leave go of the neon flash, grab your legs, and then catch in the neon flash. And then you can turn, trim off your neon flash. Find your rib. And then rib. The body in equal turns all the way up to that point there. And then same with the with the rib. Come underneath, behind the thread. Come up with the thread 
and your brake. Right. So just keep everything tight now at this point there. If you've got a material spring, hold the rib, tuck it in the material spring, you wrap round twice, pull back the legs. Cut off your waist end. Just give her wraps. Just tighten up. And get your rib then that you just stuck in the material spring. Do the same again. Come underneath your thread. Catch in, your th catch in the rib. Pull back your legs. And then catch in your rib. Turn. Stretch the rib a little bit so it catches flush. Trim. And tie off. And as a result, there, the head does go a little bit bigger when you snap off. Obviously, you get a bit more thread, but it make a difference to the flies or to the fish so so what you want to do when you finish the fly you want to cut the back legs the same length as the front so what i normally do is grab them with both hands judge it just trim it and then you can use your varnish or your bug bond or your whatever resin you want to use to finish off the fly and there's the brand new one Another quick and easy pattern there from Matt Pate that you can try this weekend. And there are plenty more patterns on our website, hmflyfishing.co.uk. A big thank you to you guys for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe, and catch you later. This week on Fly Day, I'm going to stop pointing.